Good morning everybody, Randy Gold, Trout Magna Man with you here today. Down here at Nickajack, looking for some new beds. I uh, don't know, this spawn may all be over, I don't know. I'm going to see what I can catch here. Uh, I'm fishing today with the Diplomatic Stream, uh, with the uh, Revo MGX Theta 1000, spooled up with some uh, ES2 Varivus Ester monofilament. Uh, got on a uh, trout magnet on a one gram, starting out with a one gram uh, uh, die with jig head, tipped with a little piece of Berkeley Power Wiggler. And we're going to see what we can get into, folks. Uh, I've got my uh, uh, slow taper special with me, uh, and we'll fish it some too, also today. So come on with me and let's see. Let's see, can we find some more fish? I know uh, I've told you before that. Uh, I wear a place out until I don't no longer catch any fish there, and that's what I'm doing here. I know y'all get tired of me coming to the same place, but I'm telling you, folks, if that's where you're catching fish, that's where you need to go. So come on, let's see what we can do. There he is, there he is, Mr. Shellcracker. Yes, sir, Mr. Shellcracker. Yes, sir. Shoot fire. Oh, yes, sir. This looks like a this looks like a moting gate. I don't know. I to... It is. It is. Shoot fire. This is. I believe this is my best one of the year yet. Oh, yes, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Would you look at this thing? Would you look at this shell cracker? My gosh. Now this in Tennessee, this is a trophy, folks. Let me let's get him out of the My gosh, this this is this ain't my personal best shell cracker, but I'm gonna tell you something. It's the best one I've had in a number of years. Wow, it's it's wow, this is a fantastic fish. Wow, wow, wow. Would you look at this thing? Would you just look at this thing? My goodness gracious alive. Get a measurement on him. That's a 12 inch fish. That's a 12 inch fish, folks. Yeah. All right, folks, now that, folks, that is what it's all about. Yes, sir. Let's let him go. Wow, you you can't get your hand around that joker. Look at that. That joker. Wow. There he is. There he is. What we got here? What we got here, folks? Bluegill. Nice bluegill, too. Yes, sir. I say nice. He's, he's all right. Down here, he's all right. All right. There he is. Ooh, 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 another good shell cracker, folks. I believe. I do believe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Another good shell cracker. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's okay. He ain't certainly like that other one I had, but he'll do. Yes, sir. You better believe he'll do. Yes, sir. He's all right. About a nine-incher. All right. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. I need to back up here. Need to back up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Nice shell cracker. Shoot fire.
Yes, sir, folks. That's a that's a nice nine nine and a half inch shell cracker. All right. There he is. There he is, Mr. Redbreast over here. I'm sure. A few of them left over. Yeah. Yes, sir. Pretty fish. Pretty, pretty fish. There he is. There he is, Mr. Shellcracker. Right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shoot. Folks, what I'm doing is, I'm still bed picking. Uh, there's not a lot of fish on these beds, but there's enough to make it worth my while to come down here and fish for them. That's a, that's a good looking fish. It's about a seven and a half inch shell cracker. Give me a tussle. There he is, there he is. There he is. Yes, sir, talk to me. In here. Yes, sir. All right, there's another decent shell cracker. All right. There he is. Ooh, 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 ooh. this is a better fish here. Better fish here. Yes, sir. This is a much better fish. Shoot fire. Oh yeah, shoot five. Yes sir, better. This is a mixed, huh, mixed bluegill shell crack or something. No doubt about that. He's definitely mixed, but he's a... Uh, it's a nice bluegill. Yeah, he's mixed with a little bit of red ear. Shoot, I'll take them all day if I can get them. There he is, there he is. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, folks, as Bluegill go, he's just kind of medium. But I'm going to tell you something. With this tackle, I'll stay on him all day if that's what I catch here. You better believe that. down here below the dam started out this morning up in the lake was on fish up in the lake not a lot of fish uh, was bed picking once again the bedding's done up there there's no new beds but there are a few uh, few fish hanging around the old beds they always do and they, they'll probably be there another day or two then the water up there was 78 79 degrees something like that uh, the bedding's done up there I can I can assure you of that the grass is starting to grow and uh, it'll grow quick up there but I uh, thought I'd come down and check out the tail race. Folks, you don't catch them every day. Tail race is about as dead as dead can be. I'm talking about I couldn't even get a tap from a bluegill. It's just that bad. Uh, I mean, it's, it's done got hot. Summer's here. It's, it's 90 degrees already, and it's time for me to go home. It's still, uh, it's not even noontime yet, but it's time to go. Uh, but I'll be fishing the tail race um, and other lakes from here on out. The, Nick and Jack, uh, after Memorial Day weekend, it's just, I've never done any good up there uh, for the way I fish. Uh, a lot of bass fishermen go up there, and that's what you'll see in the summer. The bass guys will be on that outskirts of that grass, uh, catching a lot of bass. Uh, and if I fished every line, I could probably uh, drop shot of some bluegill up out of there, probably, but uh, I, I don't do that. But anyway, uh, we're going to put this boat on the trailer and get on home. I appreciate all of you watching. Appreciate the comments. And once again, like I say, uh, you don't catch them every day. That's that's just a fact. Uh, so uh, caught a bunch of small fish up there, too. Uh, that's what usually hangs around most of the time. But also got that one uh, one good shell cracker. That joke was 12 inches. You pinch the tail, he's 12 inches. That's the biggest one I've caught this year. Uh, it, was a, it was a fine specimen of shell 
chiropractor from Tennessee. That's a fact. So anyway, folks, uh, once again, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate the comments. If you need to ask me a question, feel free to send me an email at tribemaggotman at gmail.com. And until next time, soul lip them all, and life is good.